Huge frustration last weekend. Has it been a difficult week given the uncertainty with the future of the manager? Uh, not in particular. Uh, you know, we're just fully focused on trying to put it right. Um, that's the nature of this league. The games obviously don't ever stop and uh, obviously extremely disappointing, frustrating uh, to, to lose the game late on again. But uh, you know, it's just about concentrating on, on the next game and you know, learning from our mistakes. We've done our analysis, looked at what we can do better and, and what we did well during the game as well, because we did a lot well as well. So um, yeah, you know, just full focus on, on Saturday now. Do you feel as though you're, you're in a relegation scrap or are you looking up the table rather than down? Well, you always, we're always looking up the table, but I think it's important to acknowledge your position at the moment as well. And, um, you know, that's, it's not an ideal situation to be in. I don't think our performances have, have reflected, uh, you know, where we're sitting in the table. The amount of late goals we've lost has obviously played a big part in that. So it's important to acknowledge where we are sitting at the moment because it's not good enough. But at the same time, we're always, always looking up the way. Why do you think you've conceded so many late goals? Uh, I don't think there's any real rhyme or reason to it. You know, it's just something we need to try and improve. It's... Um, you know, a mentality thing. I don't think it's anything tactical or any anything like that. I think it's just, you know, sheer will and desire to, to keep the ball out of the net and, uh, you know, maybe take take less risks. I don't know. There's there's you know a number of ways you can address it. And um, you know, I think a lot uh, all the players, you know, myself included, will will try and take a bit more individual responsibility for for those moments as well. Is it a must-win game this weekend? I think every game is a is a must-win game in a sense. Obviously, our situation. Uh, at the moment, we'll we'll make people kind of assume that it's a make or break kind of situation. But you know, that's the we just have to keep taking it game by game and you know focusing on getting three points because especially you know our results away from home. You know, trying to win away from home hasn't been ideal for us either. So if we can get that on Saturday, it will you know probably help us provide a platform to move forward for the rest of the season. World Cup draw later. Yeah. Big smile on your face. How much yeah. are you looking forward to it? Yeah, you know, it's ex it's exciting. Um, it was obviously uh, one of the proudest moments of my career to be a part of the qualification process and, and you, the night that got us there. And, uh, you know, I'm you know, very excited to see how the, how the afternoon's going to pan out. Will it start to feel real when you see the teams you're going to be playing later this afternoon? Start to feel real when he names the squad in a minute. You know, it's a long season ahead and, you know, we've got some quality players and... Uh, you know, you can never take your spot in a national team for granted. We've uh, got some talented players playing all around Europe, all over the world. And, uh, you know, you have to perform and, and make sure you're going to be on that plane to Russia. So, you know, obviously excited to see as an Australian and as a footballer, but by no means, uh, you know, assuming that I'll be a part of that, uh, you know, when the time comes. Australia are in pot four. Do you think you could be one of the most dangerous teams in that particular pot? Uh, yeah, I think you know we've cemented ourselves as kind of a World Cup regular now over the last four years and uh, four World Cups, sorry, the last four cycles and even at the last World Cup, you know, we caused, uh, you know, nearly caused a major upset against against the Netherlands and you know um, we we're well in the game against Chile as well, you know, against some of the top nations in the world. So um, you know, even at the Confederations Cup, a narrow defeat to Germany and. Uh, you know, drawing with a couple of other confederation winners as well. So, I think uh, you know it's probably one of the teams that uh, is particularly in pot four that teams would probably like to avoid. Would you like to face England? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was lucky to be a part of the squad that played England at the Stadium of Light in the Euro prep in the Euros preparation. Um, you know, a couple of summers ago, and yeah, amazing experience. And yeah, of course, it would be be great to play against uh, you know the country where I play my domestic football. Has there been a bit of talk in the dressing room with Seb Larson about the draw? Uh, yeah, you know, obviously uh, Camille uh, is, is, you know, going to be a part of the Poland squad and Ola with Nigeria as well. So, you know, everyone's, um, you know, on that sense looking forward to, you know, seeing who they're going to be up against. Hopefully each other. Have, have you looked at your best and worst scenarios in your particular groupings? Listen, I don't think there is any best or worst scenario. You know, I think all the nations are so strong. And um, as you say, particularly us being in pot four, we know it's going to be... Uh, it's extremely difficult to, you know, with all the teams you can be play against. But, uh, you know, it's just exciting either way. And we know, you know, we, we've back, we back ourselves. And as, as we did going into the Confederations Cup in Russia in the summer, you know, playing against top nations doesn't really phase us. I think sometimes we play better against, um, you know, when we kind of have that underdog mentality. So, um, you know, we're, we're just looking forward to it either way. The defeat last week was clearly a very, very difficult one to take. How difficult has it been on a, on a personal level this week with all the speculation about your future? 
for me question not about speculation about my future and uh, another situation because now I had a very difficult uh, feeling because we lose a very serious hit and especially me lose very very serious and like in knockout yes and a little bit frustrated a lot of times because for me better if you lose uh, five nil okay no chance continue walk you understand what you must doing it's a lot of mistake you understand weaknesses yes but when you control the game 65 minutes and uh, lose after two set pieces very difficult to understand and uh, uh, very interesting situation because uh, next Monday I watched at West End match QPR Brentford and uh, when when Brentford conceded two goals 90 plus three and 90 plus four after set pieces I understood again in this league in championship everything is possible and uh, yeah, because I am very system coach and I try to understand it's a system problems. It's a water system problem. How we consider to go, for example, after crosses or after contra attack. And so yes, uh, we considered last match after set pieces, but this is not direct. It, it was after some deflection, some flicks, and for me, very very difficult to to walk with this type of problem because each deflection you 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 can't walk with deflection yes because you don't know which deflection will be in the next match but we continue walk we have uh, we had a theoretical lesson we spoke with players and uh, really really very difficult and uh, very unlucky situation but now we must stop about unlucky and we we must keep fighting and, and play next match. You say you, you've spoken to the players. Have you spoken to the owner this week as well? Yes, yes, we spoke with Fona about the uh, situation with the team, about future, about transfer window. It's a normal, normal, normal conversation like, like usually. Nothing special for, for me. I, I didn't uh, hear some new words. It's, it's the same like, like we, we spoke a lot of times before. So, are you confident that you will be given the time to put things right? Uh, to be honest, for me, more important my feeling when what owner or somebody thinking about my job. Yes, because uh, if I if I don't have energy, if I don't have a motivation, I can't continue to work. Yes, and for me now. In this situation, more important my feeling and uh, my my opinion about my future because this is my future and I manage myself, not somebody. So, are you saying that if, if you felt that it was right to walk away, you'd make the decision? Everything is possible uh, in this situation, but. Uh, I don't know. I know myself, yes, and we, this is not first difficult situation in my career. And I know if my body will say stop, it will understand automatically stop. But uh, last week I was very close to, to this feeling, yes, but I thought uh, we continue to work because a lot of uh, job together. Uh, I bring uh, all players here and all players here because we spoke with him and I promised him it's, 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 it's a serious walk together, developing everybody. And now I have a personal responsibility from everybody here. And uh, in Saturday I, I died, but on Monday it was a little bit better when when Saturday, yes. And now I continue to work. But if you ask me what I will feel after next match or after next two matches, I don't know.